Um, I think a lot of the stories are uh, becoming out of control and super extreme. Um, again, you know, you start one way and then as it builds, there's thousands of people coming in creating a new narrative. And when you do your, your research or your due diligence on it, a lot of it doesn't come back real. So now you're stuck in a position to go, is any of it real or how much of it is real? A few moments later. I'm a liar. Unless I say, these people did this to me. They're very bad people and they've been controlling me this whole time. Just like the National Syndicate and all this, they'll come kill me, bro. They'll kill me for this. <clears throat> Literally murder me. I'll be like, tomorrow you'll be like, yeah, Ray J overdosed from some fentanyl that he did. It's like, damn, Ray J was a drug addict. He died. That ain't really bad. Right. All right. They killed me. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Mika. And we're back for another Red Cup Toss because you know once we have the Red Cup, we're about to spill some truth. And today I wanted to come on and talk about Ray J, okay? Because this has gone viral, all right? And it is Ray J and Pastor Jamal Bryant's interview, all right? They had about an hour-long interview where Ray J talks to Pastor Bryant. But he started to say some things, but then he kept pulling it back. He will say something again and then pull it back. So I want to focus on those two main parts, all right, of the interview. But just to let you know, I did insert Ray J before in a video with Diddy that I did the other day. And it was because I noticed that Ray J had been going you know, in the media talking about certain things and then pulling it back. All right. So I want to get into this and then we'll talk about it. Watch this. It did because it's like, damn, man, like I cannot get away from it. So it's oh, like, since I can't get away from it, why not just jump into it? Yeah. It's the bravery of uh, your truth and truth sayers always. I'm alive. No, you, you speaking truth today. No, because. I might not be able to put this up. I'm still a liar. Yeah. I'm, I've lied about my whole life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm a liar. Unless I say, these people did this to me. They're very bad people, and they've been controlling me this whole time. Just like the National Syndicate and all this. They'll come kill me, bro. They'll kill me for this. <clears throat> Literally murder me. I'll be like, tomorrow you'll be like, yeah, Ray J overdosed from some fentanyl that he did. It's like, damn, Ray J was a drug addict. He died. That ain't really bad. All right. They killed him. So you guys just heard that. So to those who don't know what he's saying, right? Because to some, it might just sound like, what, what in the world is Ray J talking about? But if you don't know, Ray J is talking about a couple of things. He's talking about quantum physics, which is the, the realm of science when they talk about the, the quantum leaps, the different dimensions, things like that, right? And he's also talking very esoteric, all right? He's talking about spirituality and duality and other things, right? And this happens a lot in the entertainment industry. And people don't really realize that it is alive and well, that spirituality is alive and well in the entertainment industry, all right? So this is what he's alluding to when he talks about they will kill me, all right? So that was one thing that went viral. But now, watch what he says next. Like I could, I could go, I could go there, but I might not be able to go there. I mean, I might have to say we can't go where go where that is because I'm at a crossroads in this situation where it's either truth or it's money, hmm. and so I'm choosing truth, but. A lot of the team is choosing money. Yeah. And so we're at this like this like crossroad where it's like I want to choose the truth anyway. So it's like so I don't want to choose the money. But it's messed up because how much money? Yeah. You no, know, how much is it? You know, it's like, um, I don't want to choose the money, but it's a hundred million. Well, I don't want to choose the money, but it's forty-five million plus blah blah. blah. Yeah. I don't want to choose the money because it's four million. That ain't enough, right? So, am I not choosing the money because it's not enough? Yeah. 
or do I not choose the money no matter what it is? But living in this, in this uh, avatar that gives you an unlimited access to having fun. Yeah. Not giving an F. Doing what you want to do. Knowing how to run businesses and still let the character overshadow the, the, the intelligence behind the whole setup of everything people are watching. Like it's accidentally happening. You know, being, you know, I think a hundred steps ahead of everybody by knowing things that other people don't know. So you have Ray J here still tiptoeing around what he really wants to say. It's almost like he really wants to tell the truth. But as he stated before, you know, he talks about certain things. It's a wrap. All right. And so I think he understands that, right? And again, this is a spiritual thing that he's talking about, right? It, you're in the physical realm, but he understands outside of the physical realm, okay? All right, so you guys just saw that. So again, I'm telling you, Ray J is trying to say something without saying it, right? I noticed it in the Quiz Cuomo video, and I'm noticing it right here. However, he is just tiptoeing around the issues. And again, he seems to be very weary of what he says. And he doubled down on it because right after that interview, he issued a warning to Pastor Jamal Bryant and that went viral. Here we go. I nothing but love for Pastor Bryant. Shout out to Jamal Bryant. Shout out to Von Alvarez. But if y'all play that interview, somebody getting snatched off the pulpit. Don't play the interview. It's not clear. It was out of bounds. Me and Pastor Brian need to talk. All right, so you guys just saw that. So I just wanted to come on really quick and give you guys this update with Ray J because it has been a weird week in the entertainment industry, okay? So you've had this, you had Diddy, and now you even have something, you know, brewing that I'm going to do a live on with Kevin Spacey and Diddy, okay? It has been a weird week in the industry, but I just wanted to show you guys what was going viral with Ray J after I just saw Ray J on Chris Cuomo and I put it in my own video of him trying to talk, but he wasn't talking. And I pointed it out to you guys and I'm gonna keep pointing it out because there's something going on. It's a battle right now, spiritually going on in this world. But let me know what you guys think. You know, I could be wrong. Let me know. Hey, he's just, you know, crazy. He doesn't know what he's talking about or it's something there. Let me know down in the comments. It's your girl, Mika. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out. Peace. Yeah.